Hello Wolves! Today's video is all about Martin Freeman. No, it's not a celebrity origin video, which would be weird because I've never done anything like that before, and I definitely would not start with Martin Freeman. Where was I going with this? I don't know, I'm off, to I'm off topic, I'm on a tangent, I'm sorry. Anyway, before we properly start this video, if you like these videos and you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel because I do videos like this every single week, and if you want to be notified when I upload, click that bell down below. We have actual confirmation from The Hobbit himself that he will be appearing in the MCU in the future. In an interview with Collider, when questioned about his future in the MCU, he said that, As far as I know, I will be. As far as I know, I will be in another Black Panther. That's my understanding. As to when that will happen, I don't know. We were first introduced to Everett Ross in Captain America Civil War, and his last appearance in the MCU was in the first Black Panther movie. Considering the success of the first Black Panther movie, it's no surprise that Marvel will follow up with a sequel. It wasn't announced as part of Phase 4, but it is speculated to be announced as part of Phase 5. I have a inkling that this isn't all of Phase 4, I know that Kevin Feige has confirmed it, but I have an inkling that some surprises will be thrown in because this seems like quite a short phase to me, but we never know. As to how big Everett's role will be in the next Black Panther, we haven't got a clue. We also don't have a clue whether this is just going to be a cameo. We don't know if he's a major part or if he's just going to pop in and say, hey T'Challa, how you doing? And then walk off. We don't know. We don't know if he'll walk in, fist pump Shuri, then walk off. Could be any of those two. But we are definitely confirmed that Martin Freeman will return to the MCU as Everett Ross. The only things we know for sure about the next Black Panther movie is that it's definitely being made and that it is written by the first film's writer, Ryan Coogler, and of course that most of the cast will be back. I mean, what would Black Panther be without T'Challa? Well, Shuri, for that matter. And we kind of have an inkling that it will be about the fallout of Endgame. I mean, T'Challa let the Avengers stay, and this resulted in Wakanda being heavily attacked by alien forces and breaching the actual safe wall of Wakanda, and I realised that that's going to be a heavy part in the next film. Can they trust their king? They were left without a king. I, I'm kind of curious what they did in those five years. Um, who was ruling, maybe that person would want to stay ruling, um, stuff like that. But Okoye was still alive in Endgame at the start, so maybe it was like a peaceful thing, they just co-ruled with people. I really doubt she would let anyone take that throne without that person being a worthy king or queen. If that is the case, I'm not quite sure how Martin Freeman's Everett Ross will fit in, but I'm sure they'll find him apart, and I'm sure I'm completely wrong about the plot anyway. <laughs> I normally am. Anyway, if you like this short little video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It's your opinion. Comment down below what you think of Everett Ross returning to the MCU, Martin Freeman coming back, the Hobbit gang and Lord of the Ring gang <laughs> being strong in the MCU. How your day's been? Let me know. Um, if you have any video suggestions, let me know down below. If you want a name or origin video, please let me know because I really want to do one, but I don't want to do one if there's no interest in it. I have a Twitter, Tumblr and Instagram that you can follow if you really want to. You don't have to. They're down below as well and at the end. And I will see you next time. Bye little wolves.